All right, this video, I'm kind of doing it concurrently with my uh, outlet video. But this tool, it's called the Klein Tools VDV 500 705T. Bunch of fancy crap for a tone tracer. So what you do is you set that one on tone and this is the sensor. As you get closer to these wires, you get the tone. Let me show you one way this tool can be super handy. I'll hook it up and show you. Okay, so I've got the tool set up to these wires. I wanna see which ones feed this outlet and which ones send out from this outlet. So I know the power is coming from this outlet. I just don't know which of these are powered. So it's, it's hooked up on the right hand side, right? So you can hear the tone here. I don't know if you can hear how much louder it is on that one. But now as I go over here, it's pretty quiet. If I go over here, it's pretty quiet. But I get close to this outlet and it gets loud. So now I know that right hand side is the power in. Now I'm gonna swap those wires onto the left hand side and they should send power this way. This is basically just a continuity test. Um, this can be super handy when you uh, are remodeling or something like that. Okay, so that's hooked up. Now there's nothing over here, no noise. Over here, we have a bit. So let's go check this one out. And that's the supply to that outlet. Now we have this outlet. This one's supplied by a different circuit. Cool, huh? So this one, when I replace this outlet, it's just gonna have one wire coming in and it'll be a dead end. This outlet will be the same. When I remodeled, this outlet is powered from above, actually not all the way up. It comes up about that high over to the switch. Then it goes up and over. So that's what you can use this tone tester or continuity tester for. It's very cool. I had that uh, in my other video, there's a random wire I had here and I couldn't remember what it was for. What it is, is I ran a single wire up to about that high and then coiled it up. It's not connected and I didn't connect it either again. In my bathroom, let me show you what I was intending to do there. Power's all off. So I've got that big tub. I was gonna mount a TV up here. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was super bored. So anyways, that's not in the plans anymore. Um, so I don't need that power, but I still have in the bedroom that wire is dead end in that box. Okay, so the power comes from the switch uh, down and over to this middle existing box. And then I branch from that box over there for a nightstand and over here for this nightstand. But it also comes over and feeds this outlet and this outlet, and then it dead ends. And I can figure that out without breaking up the drywall using that uh, continuity tester or tone tracer. Really cool tool. All right, just as we determined with our little tracer tool, 
this is the terminal, the terminus, the end of the electrical, this outlet. So we determined the power comes from the switch to the center plug, and then I branched it off to an outlet there and an outlet here. Um, and then it comes from that center plug also to this outlet, and then it works over to this outlet. Here's the terminus. This one I already swapped out, and it is the terminus for the uh, rep bathroom and master closets. So that tool's pretty awesome. Little practice using it. And, uh, you know, I kind of knew the house already from the remodel, but it's a great tool.